Hi, hi, hi everyone. Um, well, since I have never really um, made any video about slow worlds, everything is about speed here, well, I have decided that it would maybe be a good idea to share with you my, my journey on this um, Italian classic that I'm currently playing on. And, um, and yeah, that is exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, well, obviously, this video is being published, well, well, later than it was recorded, that's all I can say, because it's an active world, it, there's, there's war going on, if people find out that I put this video here, then yeah, free info, and the point of making this video is definitely not that. But, um, well, let's um, let's give some, some backstory on, on, on this one then. So, first of all, the classic settings, I will show them. Um, it is this. These are the settings. Um, the idea for this classic was for it to be a classic um, where the Italian community invites the Greek community and the French community. The Italian server had already hosted a, a classic round where they invited um, Greek people to come play and um, the Greek guys formed a big team and they just completely stomped the the noob Italians who played. But this time it was not not as linear as that really because the settings are... Um, they, they kind of make the world stall um, because there are not so many barbs, um, everyone has a big resource production, uh, the unit speed is not that big, and of course the world speed is, is only a little bit bigger than it would be to play a normal world. So it's a bit of a slower classic, it's a bit on the, on the, on the slower side. So it is, it's like playing um, an OG world. There are a lot of colors in the map, a lot of things happening. Well, nowadays it's a bit different, but I will talk about that. Um, and, um, well, the, the state of the world is um, quite interesting. Um, and um, I would like to share with you, and um, I will. And, uh, well, you can let me know about your uh, world experiences in the comments. Um, so, first of all, first of all, it is important to talk about the beginning of the world and about um, who was playing. So, in this account, in my account, um, I was not even thinking about playing. That is the thing, because I, uh, well, as you guys know, I do not play worlds, right? This is a very odd thing for me to be doing. Um, for multiple reasons, for <laughs> many of them I will probably go over a while um, in this video, but uh, I saw that some friends were playing, Fullerfake was playing, Adam was playing, people that I, well, enjoyed talking to when I have, and um, yeah, we decided to go in and play the world. So, um, there was like no limit on co-playing and shit, so we all just joined the world, and we joined the world um, with another guy. Let me go to TW stats. That, that will be helpful. History. Right, that doesn't really help me. Conquer periods. That is very weird. I, I, I don't... I obviously don't know how this shit works. Um, anyway, the, um, I wish there was a way to see the earlier map. I don't think there is. View world rankings. Nah, this is... Nah, that is, that is very old. It's not even the same classic. It's annoying. The, the TW stats thing, because the classic server is only a single server. So, it is... Um, is a bit awkward, but basically, I'll just open the map and show it. Well, you can obviously imagine that earlier there were a lot of barbs around. Now there are literally none. There are some like here in the south, but 
anyway, uh, you get the point. So, <clears throat> basically battles all around, and I joined with a player, and um, that player and I had made a tribe, and that player for some reason repositioned to this area, which is clearly not where I am at. So, uh, he repositioned to this area, and he for some reason told the other people in our tribe to reposition to my area. Um, well, I had no clue on who those people were, they, they were literally just randoms. Um, so, well, I never really played with them or talked to them much at all. And so it got to a point where, in our area, here in my area, um, still about this area, I, I never really migrated much in terms of map. So, it was about this area. I wish there were older maps. Um, maybe I can find some. Let me see. Um, I, I I don't think I can. I I would like to, but this is probably the best thing I can show. Um, this one. So here in the south, in this area, this was all a Greek tribe in the early days of the world, and we had a Discord server. We were fairly active, but uh, they were. The Greek guys were like playing two worlds at a time, um, so they never really focused too much here, and it got to a point where they basically just stopped playing. But this map is already a bit advanced, so I will hide it for now. Um, but yeah, basically, the situation of the account early on, we were on the Greek tribe, and um, there was, well, everyone building up their villages around here. Um, there was a Brazilian tribe here, ODA, in this area, south of the map. In the north there was Pizza, uh, this tribe, actual tribe. But there were so many more tribes, there was Koala here, in this area. There was um, a tribe that later became this one in this area. But there were so many mini tribes, and the, the north of the map was a complete um, war between everyone, because there were so many little tribes in the north, and yeah. And here in the south, we also had like a little tribe um, in this area that was quite resistant. And they still have some true, some, some villages here, some random villages. Like, these are all like completely stacked. Like, yeah, it's not, it's not really clearable because this world has um, the paladin items. So there is a paladin item of the catapult. So yeah, the, you can still see some remains of their villages here. These, these black villages as well. Um, no, not the black villages. Let me see. I mean, some of them. But 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 you can see that there are some villages scattered around here that are uh, not conquered by us because, well, we really can't just throw away off like that. But anyway, um, the point is, the entire map was pretty much challenged. And in this area, there was a tribe, well, two tribes, that were literally just conquering barbs. And they had this continent all to themselves, basically, without any real um, challenge. And you can see that here in the map that I was showing, this one, you can see the red is that tribe, but the black is also that tribe. So they were basically unchallenged here. Um, first in this map, it was only like in the center of the continent, and then of course they conquered everything under them and everything above them as well. So this was kind of the beginning, but this was already after the dissolution of the Greek tribe, because the Greek guys eventually gave up. And so, I joined ODA, which was the Brazilian tribe. Brazilian tribe. So, I joined ODA with another player that was here. Um, a Greek guy, but he was not very active, so he ended up just eventually dying. But, the reality is that early on, my account was in a really good state, as you can, as you can see. I won pretty much all the farmers of the day. Especially in early days, I was winning like every day, and we were just out farming the entire server by a lot for multiple reasons. First of all, um, our map was not really contested. My my own map, um, well, it was very contested in terms of like um, a global zone, as you can see. Uh, in in this, uh, there were th this tribe uh, in the north. Then there was like the lack of connection between. Uh, the yellows here, we we were not connected, we, it was not easy, and then of course there were these guys to the to the west. So it's a very contested map, but in terms of farming, 
it wasn't really that contested. So I was always able to um, to farm even with C and the people in our account well, most of them were speed players. We had Bull, like we had Adeln, as I said. But Adeln stopped like three days after. Um, yeah, after the beginning. Um, and eventually we also recruited another guy. And um, he played a good amount. But then he also stopped. But then we also recruited another people. A group of people. And then they stopped. Basically, the history of the account is a complete mess. We've gotten to a point where we had like 10 co-players. Currently, it's literally only me in the account. And the world is unplayable because of that. I literally cannot find co-players. This account is haunted, I swear. Every time um, there is a new co-player, he just disappears. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, he just completely stops caring about the world at some point. Or... Um, like when he's needed, like you need to send an attack at X time, they, they just don't do anything. I don't know. The account is literally cursed. Like I, I, I genuinely do not understand. And um, in terms of people in the account, that has kind of been the situation. But going back to the history of the world. Um, as you can see, well, <coughs> see this position, you can already understand that there will be a messy fight between, well, these, these tribes here that I have my cursor on and well the yellow to dominate the continent so and well this also shows you the the big mess that it was in the north with the tribes there were so many different tribes in the north um and uh, yeah so that's that's what in, quite interesting to look at as well um here in the south well i was playing with oda and we kept developing and um, they even made an OP on these guys because these two tribes were playing together. The um, blue and the reddish. I don't know. Um, well, um, so they were playing together and um, we basically made an OP on them. Uh, we had some success, but they were mostly full death, so it was very annoying, especially with um, Paladin with items. The, the defense items are just completely. Um, broken compared to the to the offense ones. You don't even use the offense items. There is literally no point in doing that. Um, so, yeah. We had some mixed success, but while attacking these guys, um, this Swoosh tribe had already conquered basically their entire continent and was very developed because they they just used account manager on barbs and yeah. So, at that point, well, and even before this, I was lucky with the position because, as I told you, the the world had a good start for me because I had a lot of little guys that had repositioned near me. So you can see this here, conquers. Where is it? Um, right, I had a lot of little guys near me, and yeah, this is the beginning of the world. Um, well, obviously not this. This is 2022. So from here on. Yeah, this is where the world started. So, the the world had a really good start for me because this TR was the tribe that I left. These disp guys were also from TR. So, we fought, we fought, we fought against some guys that put some some resistance, like this disp. Like they they gave us some um, a bit of a fight to be honest, but it was not really um, that big of a deal. And here DEC. And DBQ is the um, the tribe of the Greek guys, so it was basically internals because well they were giving up and things like that. So yeah, this was like a contested village. But yeah, after that, mostly just barbs. We took some villages, some big villages. That was the this tribe, the the one of these tribes here in this area. So we never really had a lot of contesting early on but it got to a point where we just this is all yeah big w's but we got to a point where wait uh what is it what am i looking for none of this is before this well i don't know i guess i did not have many losses in terms of villages but as you can see i lost some villages to this tribe this speeds whatever um it was swoosh they eventually renamed so that's swoosh in this map and that's how i'm gonna talk about them just as swoosh so they started at some point moving on me 
and um, as I told you, they were like this entire tribe here in this continent, and I was like in this area alone with uh, another account near me. That account was quickly absorbed, um, both by me and by that tribe. So, yeah, not not much to be done with that because the guy was inactive, and here we had the ODA guys. But in ODA, we had uh, a lot of internal problems. We had my co-players always like discussing with them because we could be doing better we could be uh, like doing things differently and we could we could but the leadership of ODI at that point was very very close-minded and they really had um, big egos um, so they literally never took our suggestions to well just in consideration and so um, it was a complete mess the relations so it got to a point where we had the entirety of swoosh like even like little noobs of like their secondary tribe with like 10 villages sending us like 10 fakes per village with one real attack in the middle with like 300 catapults to all of our villages and we had like maybe like 30 villages at that time we didn't have that many villages we, we, were, we were top one i think we had like like 400 maybe i'm not sure let me see um i'm pretty sure i saved something in the web archive let me let me save this um, with back machine. So I did save it. It is this. I'm not sure. Okay, no, this is very early on. This is very early on. So yeah, I don't think there is any other capture. Is there? No. Nah, never mind. That's very early on then. But as you can see, I was very ahead. Like in terms of villages, in terms of points, because I conquered a lot of fairly well-developed villages, as I showed you, and um, yeah, we had we had a good start, and so our farm was good, etc., etc., etc. We had fairly good activity on our account, and all of that started to deteriorate when we started getting attacked by well, this entire tribe, because well, a lot of reasons, but. ODA was not supporting us. That was the first thing. There was one player in ODA supporting us, and that was the current Zinedine Zidane. Uh, who is French, obviously. Um, so he was not a part of ODA. He was French in a Brazilian tribe. And, um, well, it got to a point where, well, instead of supporting me, and considering that Zined Incident was the only guy supporting me, the ODA guys, out of nowhere, they, they literally just muted the group chat we had in WhatsApp. And, um, well, I just start seeing them remove the share commands with me overnight and then I wake up and uh, Zidane has like 100 nobles arriving in a very early stage of the game so they literally focused all of their efforts in going to Zidane which was let me see it was like these villages here in the north he was more uh, near the north than, than the other members so they basically forced all of their uh, um, efforts into conquering a guy that was playing with us and it would not make sense to play against because well even if he's french we are we were on a no attack pact with the french guys so um yeah we <coughs> we we had that they literally decided to focus everything on attacking him um, while they also told me that they were focusing on attacking this tribe because um uh, well you can probably visualize it but this entire area of the map. Um, let me see this. I can draw. No, I can't draw. That is annoying. Um, if I do this, can I draw? Um, this entire area of the map. No, I don't think you can see. Maybe you could see. I know, but that entire area of the map was covered in red, and this area was well, mostly a lot of them still barbs because we were not conquering barbs that much. Um, we were like fighting players and um, yeah the, these guys because they were mostly full def as i told you and so it was taking a bit of time and so the swoosh guys just started moving on to my account and um well instead of like conquering these guys or like finishing them before the swoosh tribe could um yeah my tribe just decided to attack um a tribe mate and yeah he was the only one who was supporting me so i see that and they wake up in that day and uh, well I'm out. I'm 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 out of the tribe. Like I, there is no reason for me to stay in that tribe, given that that tribe is literally.
playing against me, they are not supporting me, or some of them are supporting me, but like two or three people in 20, like not not enough. And um, just making bad decisions and completely judging um, our performance in the account, um, especially because we were playing better than all of them. We even had some of them telling us that um, if they were uh, the people playing on uh, my account, then uh, they would perform much better, etc, etc. Ego things, basically. So, um, a lot of ego problems in that tribe, and so we left, and we had already been in talks with the Italian tribe, because two of our co-players were Italian, actually three. Um, that is a mess. The co-player situation in the account was a complete mess from the beginning to the end, but I will conclude talking about that later on. Um, so, the 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 strategy switched completely because we joined the swoosh tribe and um, well our new enemies would be the tribe we were just playing with so that that would be that, that would be quite an interesting um, switch in the strategy so we had like a break of like four days without attacks to like it was good to, to rebuild the, the smithies and the farms and etc etc but quickly after what happens in the world um, the pizza tribe they had already dominated their uh, their area here they conquered this tribe inside of their uh, area i think they were like with a non-attack pact or something but then they just conquered them so they quickly moved on to the, no the south here um, onto this 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 line this is not what i want to do um, onto this line here and i really do hope you can see it and i think you can so they quickly moved on to this line and it was the front here with swoosh this tribe so yeah this was their main nuke and it's still their main nuke as you will see um, when I when you look at the map um, and so it was clearly uh, becoming a, a fight here um, but at the same time we also had ODA here the Brazilian guys with this group and uh, they were targeting also our tribe um, and these guys all eventually this side of the map they all like merged in one and also were playing against us so we were basically 3v1 um it was basically impossible and and something um the ego problems in oda uh, not too long after i left they well they they made the tribe break up internally and some of them stopped playing and those are the conquerors that uh, can be seen um here all of these guys were like people from this tribe and uh, they all just left and these were the villages that i was able to to take from them because well they are like just deleting their accounts they they are not giving away their um villages to anyone but yeah those are the ones that i was able to take these two as well anyway you get the point a lot of them gave up and then we had a group of people to the east that uh, still wanted to play and they were presented to the koala tribe these guys here in the north they were still roughly in this position and they played uh, together against the the swoosh tribe so it was basically an unwinnable fight for for swoosh there was some reason as to why these three types allied it, allied each other uh, and um, they were all playing against swoosh this tribe was basically useless always and uh, they never really did anything but the other tribes were very heavily attacking us and we actually did give some fierce resistance uh, at least in my opinion uh, like um, people reconquering and uh, sniping etc etc the tribe was not too inactive but there was a big lack of coordination we had so many people in the group chats and no one was saying anything we didn't have a discord server uh, we didn't have like stacks planned we didn't I mean, I, I think we did have stacks, but but nothing too organized. So it was a complete mess, basically, the tribe. And um, it just got to a point where it fell, because people started like renaming the tribe name to like Pizza, as you saw, those those statistics um, here. Yeah, Pizza, whatever. Um, they renamed the tribe to that. And um, they kind of just slowly gave up, and, uh, well, they, they just didn't want to play anymore. But when that tribe fell um, I still had not lost many villages of course I had a front here with ODA um, the Brazilian tribe that became Koala um, 
but I will always call them ODA because koalas are the guys in the north and ODAs are the guys in the south, basically. Um, and um, well, the the map um, was well not in our in our favor at all, but it was worse for the people that had villages in this area where I have the my cursor um, than it was for me here because me I was just being attacked by the ODA guys and well it definitely was not fun like getting catapulted and all of that again like constantly and of course I also received some attacks from the pizza guys especially catapults um, no one was really in range to conquer us or at least not consistently because well we are very much to the south so we we had a, a bit of a well stable point where we were just first with like 40 villages ahead of the second place uh, we got to like 140 villages or something like that and the second place had like 100 um, but then some guy quickly caught up because he conquered a lot of people uh, in internals or something i'm not sure if it was one for one 140 or like 120 i don't know um uh, Anyway, we had a big um, advantage compared to other players, and it's honestly kind of sad that it doesn't give me like a 15 to 15 day like leaderboard. The, the TW stats should give me like some some way of like seeing um, the the leaderboard on a group of like I don't know 15 days. It would be cool, but um, now that doesn't exist. So GG. But anyway, the count was more or less stable. We're getting attacked and trying our best against the ODA front but it was not easy because the ODA had the koalas and the koalas had a lot of death and they kind of just sent all the death to this front because well they are not fighting against pizza so they could just move the death here and uh, mostly was a very one-sided fight of course against um, Swoosh at the time so Swoosh then fell a lot of the people stopped uh, so it became a complete mess but also some people joined uh, this tribe of the north uh, and now we are getting to a more modern point in the map so i can go back to the game um, so there were some guys these these like um, reddish color is is the tribe of the north the original one so this guy joined their tribe and um, this guy also joined their tribe and there is a third guy it's this guy. Uh, most of his villages are in the back lane, like here, I guess. No, this is another guy. Um, I don't know, but most of his villages are in the back lane. So those guys all joined that tribe, the Italian tribe, because this tribe was entirely Italian. And, um, well, I kind of was just by myself. And I was literally invited to every single tribe, like literally all of them. So. My decision was to play with Pizza, the it, the, the French guys, uh, because they are just a way more consistent tribe, and I know um, I know most of them, like not not like most, but I know a good amount of them, and um, they're overall nice guys, and like they're actually trying to win, and uh, well, the account had been on a very hard course over the over the world, so I joined with Pizza, and. Um, well, it turns out their plans didn't really go to plan, and um, well, of course they were in the middle of two big tribes. How can they ever possibly fight a war on two fronts and win? Um, well, because their plan wasn't to fight on a two-front war. They wanted to split up the koala tribe, as you saw. Uh, there was koalas to the north and ODAs to the south, so they wanted to split that tribe and they wanted to make ODA. Uh, kill koala uh, because they were like weak and it's like free villages um, and so well that would happen we would make an op on kate's ai that was the original plan well that didn't happen we they were not able to make um, koala stop playing with um, oda or oda stop playing with koala because they were the ones in control so um yeah that that just didn't happen um so um, yeah it was a bit of a hard situation because then we have this tribe and this tribe well attacking pizza again so we just have a war with the entire world well this tribe was on the other side because this is currently 
oh the yeah, these are the Brazilian guys. They have switched to our side now, but they were not in our side. And there were like I think two more tribes. I'm not sure. Um, here and yeah. Overall, um, let me see. Okay, the the statistics are a complete mess. Like it's very tied overall. Let me see my tribes. So, yeah, that there are. There is a big difference of villages one compared to lost, but it has been a very slow war overall because the world is slow itself, as you have seen. So it has been a complete mess, and at that point my account starts getting attacked again, and at that point my account is completely abandoned, completely abandoned. And you can see that here. It's this time. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was when I joined Pizza here. So I I get attacked by literally anyone and everyone um this the swoosh guys the remaining guys of swoosh made um another type here that was it <laughs> and eventually became this so they have like a well a fairly big tribe still with uh, people who remained active um to my west and uh, they all started playing with the big italian tribe so the world became a complete mess again, and I left from being triviant to still being triviant, basically. <laughs> it did not change at all, but they really heavily focused my account here, especially the Brazilian guys. And so, um, well, this this was the result. It was just it was just really bad. Like it, it was really bad. Like these these are not these are modern stats and everything. But yeah, as you can see. All, all red basically um, and during this time it was just French people playing on my account because I couldn't play I was focused on like studying for exams and I kind of still have to that is also why this account has been a mess because I'm in uni I do not have the time to play a world like this um, it requires just way too much time but I've been trying my best uh, but yeah overall the, the French guys basically held my account and did their best until I eventually came back, and when I came back, well, well, you can you can see what happened in here. Yeah, that is that is that is me coming back. There were some villages lost in the middle, some some reconquered, some like barbs conquered and retaken, but nothing too major here. Um, nothing too significant. Of course, in the grand scheme of things, now these villages are like stacked. These ones from Gex, so it's annoying that I lost them. But well, anyway, it's not something I can really be mad about. It was big comeback of the account um, and you can still see here the statistics wow never mind it doesn't show anymore that i was first but anyway well i think i think you you can believe my skill enough um, that i was first um yeah so i was first then i just dropped down until like here this was like the lowest i hit and then it was a very rapid growth um back to where i am now um, I'm, I'm obviously not hitting first again, it's, it's basically impossible. I've lost a lot of time just recruiting units and doing things, while other people, like this guy, were just making nobles. And um, yeah, there is obviously no way to, to actually just get back my first place. But I do have this first place, which is quite, quite interesting. I mean, it's definitely better than nothing, so can't be mad about it at all. Um, so yeah, big recovery of the account, um, and well, we are still playing against all of the tribes in the world. This South tribe, it was this group of players here that still kind of exist. This area here, um, it was all like enemies, like the, these different colors here. They were all a single tribe, and they are joining this side of the war now. Um, some of them at least, some have joined their tribe, like this guy. Um, but yeah, I made a big move on these guys in the south, and you can see it here. This, like, all of these villages were taken by me, by to, to these guys, like, just just like free villages basically, because, well, they are not very skilled. I, I literally tracked when this guy was going to sleep, um, and he was literally just leaving his defensive troops outside. Um, so um so i literally could just conquer him during the night everything um 
so yeah, it was it was quite sad for him. But uh, yeah, I managed to zero him. And um, eventually, I mean, it kept going as you can see, I conquered some of these guys, etc., etc., etc. I went up a big amount of villages just by conquering these guys as I thought. Um, so yeah, but currently, well, as you can see, things are not going so great. But there was a big change in the world because this tribe here, as you can see, and as I've said, they are now playing with us, um, which is. It's quite good because they are like the remaining guys of ODA. They are not very well ego based. I'm gonna say that. Um, they, they are more chill guys. They are maybe not as competitive as the other ones, but they have been holding themselves fairly well for the entirety of the world and they have remained consistent and they're playing um, pretty decently, I would say. And um, now they are with us. I'm, I'm on their tribe currently. And, uh, well, our move is, like, to take these guys out of the south, so we clear um, our area completely. But anyway, now uh, there is a big front here, a uh, complete mess. You can see there's attacks everywhere, attacks arriving, supports arriving, etc, etc. And, well, there is a big problem in my accounts, that is, I'm playing alone. And I cannot cover 24 hours of the day while playing alone. So that is clearly reflected here. Um, a lot of random losses that should never happen um, like during these times those are the times I'm not playing at uh, I, I'm like playing at around this time so I mean you can see you can clearly see the conquer times it is not hard to to see I mean so, some of these are like at these times but most of them are like during night so that's clearly when I'm most active um, but yeah overall I'm pretty much alone in the account and um, currently has been very hard to maintain the front because they literally just fully stack the villages whenever they like this guy conquers the village then I spy it and uh, well it already has paladin with katas and it's basically unconquerable so they, they conquer the villages fairly early in the day and then I can't like reconquer I just can't it's impossible they are completely stacked so this is really the situation of the world currently why did this tribe break apart from this one? Why did they stop being allied? Well, funny thing. Let's look at the statistics of this tribe, shall we? Let's look, let's see. First of all, as tribe, they are third in bash points. Third. Third, they are first place in points. First. Right? So, third in bash points, first in points. So, well, yeah, the first tribe has a lot of... But they... We're always like not changing members etc etc i was also in that tribe um yeah so i contributed a good amount to those to that of the a but anyway um yeah now i joined this tribe because we are like heavily in the south it's this like uh, light blue color so yeah we're going to make some op soon in this area to try to revert the map but as i was saying the this tribe and their well infinite um, academies like this one they've had this academy since forever and their bash points are 14 million which is nothing um, but, but let's look at the main one right um, their conquers are internals I internals so if I go look at the main tribe of the world the, the original pizza um, and I go look at their fights their conquers. There is going to be a lot of like red, yellow, etc., etc. Contested villages. Uh, this was the koala guys when the ODA guys left them. <coughs> so this was a lot of green in these days because free villages and the world was changing. Um, it was becoming uh, west against east. So a lot of like conquering here. It was basically. It was not really internals. It was just people who deleted and gave up, etc. So going down. As you can see, everything is like red, yellow, etc, etc. There are always things being contested, villages being stolen, villages being reconquered, villages being stacked, restacked, etc, etc. That's why the OD is insanely high. In this tribe, they have been playing a completely different game. DKZ is their academy tribe. So, yeah. How many people have they internal already? So, one, two, 
this guy was also inter tribe, so three. Look, another internal conquer, four. Um, let's see. Let's keep going. Um, these are not okay. This one, this guy disappeared already as well. So that's probably one more internal that he did. Well, a lot of internaling. And, well, this guy also internal, as you can see. Yeah, this guy also internal, lizard. Vicky. That guy, wait, no, he's internal. No, he's not, he's still playing. I don't know. They literally do nothing that I literally don't know who they are. Some of the names I recognize because they've attacked me, but others literally have done nothing in the entire world. But as you can see, they are way more worried in internaling and if i go down conquering barbs of 50 points right um then they are worried about actually attacking their enemy which was pizza because well they were they completely surrounded pizza pizza did not have a good map here so um well instead of attacking them they just kind of did whatever and they like i don't know they had their own goals basically and that's also why you don't see any um randoms in this side of the map even with low low model because there's model in this map in this world they have always just conquered every single player there's like a, some some like gray people here but mostly this doesn't happen and this guy probably has a lot of od yeah exactly you see a lot of od as defender because these guys basically have just been conquering everything that appears near them and they have not they have been avoiding every sort of fight since the beginning of the, the world. Like, they literally do nothing. So, yeah. Meanwhile, in our side, you can see there's, like, <laughs> this group of people here. <laughs> these, like, noobs appear. Then there's, like, these guys in the south. Because we were never given space to, like, waste offensive troops in useless fights. Because, well, conquering this will definitely solidify our continent. Sure. But we are not making a move in our actual enemies, right? It's useful, but, well, not that useful, basically. So, that is basically what this tribe has been up to. And, of course, these guys who had been actually always trying to, to make something happen, happen against Pizza. And they see that they are, well, kind of being betrayed by the other tribe, or at least not matched with the same energy. Um... Well, they just allied themselves to us, which is completely understandable. They they have been trying so hard and so actively to, to do something against Pizza. And then the other side of the war, who is supposed to be together with them, they just do not do anything at all. <laughs> which is honestly just quite sad. And they have just been doing internals and conquering barabs and conquering like randoms that spawn in this, the corner of the map. It is completely insane like lo let's look this red blood tribe if i go here i will see a lot of kza conquers okay there's actually some pizza conquers um these guys had villages in the north then i assume but anyway um the point i'm trying to make is the pizza and the oda guys have always had a goal to fight to try their best to bump each other up the KZA guys, well, they have kind of just been internaling villages and taking barbs the entire time. You can see that by the OD. And the way the attack was awful, uh, they literally just sent like 10 fools to a single village. We would just put Paladin with catapults there and it's over. Like, it was that awful. It was, it was really bad. So, there was not much of a point to, to stay with them as, as this tribe. So... Currently, well, the world is pretty much split in two, which is fun, but I do not think this splitting in two will last for very long, because Pizza is way more competent at attacking, and they are used to attacking. Um, there's always, like, something happening. These villages have always, like, attacks going, um, and they are not even attacking now. They are just keeping pressure on... And, well, meanwhile, well, they have launched an OP on me, but as you see, I have not really lost many villages. I've lost, like, ten, so for like five days or something that they have been attacking me and i have literally not been consistently online um, they have not managed to take that many villages so that is the world um that this was it is very quickly um 
well, shaping up to be won by this side of the map, the west side. Um, well, that's also where most of the fights happened, which totally makes sense. We are more warmed up, we are more used to fighting and just being in wars. And um, yeah, this side is a bit more uh, sleepy. If I go look at some of these players, they literally, like, this guy's first place is 44 in patch points. How sad is this? Like, just genuinely how sad. Like, this guy, I've never seen him attack anyone. One million. Um, I don't know. This guy, he attacks people. Like, he sends a lot of fools in a single village. This guy, so sadistic. But there are a lot of these guys that, like, do nothing. This this guy has, like, yeah, nothing. They, they have a lot of players that literally do nothing. Or they are, like, AFK, full death, with, like, no troops inside. Like uh, this guy, I think. His villages are mostly here now. Yeah, his villages are mostly here. He's like mostly deaf. And like just supporting people. He has like two off villages or something. No, no, this was not the player that I wanted to talk about. Um, It was... Saraceno. Yeah, exactly, this one. So, yeah, this guy. Look, just defend bash points and support bash points. These guys are basically just all very bad. If their frontline dies, their entire tribe dies. That's basically how it works here. So, we are seeing the final stages of the world. Um, at least that is what it looks like, because, well, these guys, I don't think they will be, uh, like, giving much of a resistance. I have been spying them consistently. Their villages are a mess. We have like info on all of their villages. We have so much info on all of their villages. We know um, the amount of troops they have. We know where they have their paladins. We literally know where they have their paladins. We we know everything. Look, this is how the how not organized their, their villages are. Four hundred catapults in a random village, like here. Why? Actually, let me just send like this. Why not? Maybe it could work. Who knows? Who knows? If he's still asleep at that time, he will die. 400 catapults thrown into the trash so as you can see they're not very consistent and um, very easy to play against i would say and their op against me has not been going well they have done literally nothing even though i'm literally not playing when they attack me and they and they know when i'm not playing so it's just sad but overall well this is where i wrap up the video because holy shit i've been here for 48 minutes um well playing a world is an extremely well especially in the position that i'm at like first place in od like supporting everyone um defending attacking being in this position is not easy at all not easy at all i mean if you are like let me see supporter like if you are like Lady Killer eighty seven, who has two million points in support, and in everything else you have nothing. Well, maybe you don't have to do a lot, right? Maybe you don't have to do a lot because um, yeah, it's probably just full death and literally doing nothing. But in an account like mine where I'm doing everything, it's not so easy to play, um, and there is always the need to people naming attacks and to be like scouting villages and to be just looking on what the next move should be and i mean that that can easily be seen uh, just look at the farm levels like a lot of things were catapulted and most of them are like empty because i'm always using troops i'm always defending i'm always attacking etc etc um it just requires a lot a lot of time and it is honestly annoying sometimes that i'm putting so much time into this and well obviously i don't have anyone else in my account which is a problem i will never again play a world um, where I do not know um, if I'm going to have consistent people playing with me. I mean, I, I, don't even, I don't even think I'll play a world at all, but I've learned a lot. That is, that's the truth. I've learned a lot about worlds and about TW here as a whole. Um, and I've learned that it definitely is impossible to play a big world account by myself, right? Because in this era of the account, the 56 winners, uh, 56 time winner in farm, well, in that era, we had a lot of people. We had very inconsistent people. But at least, like, every hour, we would have someone uh, who would come in the account and would farm, um, would, like, 
look for things and like I, I don't know just exist really um so we would have a lot more resources than everyone else and we would be ahead but currently well that is not the situation everything is a stalemate there are no barbs to be farmed so there is no real skill gap in farming um so well i will never really catch up to these guys unless we conquer them or something because it's impossible for me to make more coins than them currently um literally impossible because well i'm spending insane amounts of resources with recruiting units as you can see it is yeah the, <laughs> my most spent um thing in terms of resources so it is really hard to to manage this that's all that's my point and the thing is if i am to play a world i want the account to be something like this i want to have the freedom to make moves on like little guys like these guys i want to have the freedom to come out at night and like just send spies to the entirety of one player which is what i did here tonight by the way and you can definitely see that um and everything is stacked why is everything stacked what where is this village okay it's actually in a yeah a contested position but look no paladin 2.9k um <laughs> catapults no paladin by the way like four fools off would kill this okay maybe not four but like five six and the catapults would just die <laughs> that is how badly organized this tribe is really they are not used to defending a multi-front um op and that is what they will have to do from now on so i really do not see them um surviving for very long and meanwhile well i'm i'm here like making notes on all of their villages this bobo guy well I spied him entirely yesterday. Every single village has notes. I'm, I'm clicking in random villages, obviously. And literally everything. I, I, I've scanned the entirety of him. And there is no one else in the world doing this, by the way. Which is something actually surprising. Um, but overall, this world has been, first of all, extremely low-skilled. A lot of the people were not very skilled. Accounts were not online 24-7. Um, People were not farming efficiently, etc., etc., etc. Um, and overall, a lot of <clears throat> well, I don't know if I can say it's low effort because for some of these guys, I really do think they are playing to the best of their abilities. They just have no clue on how to play, and this is not even like meant to insult them or say they are bad or like something like that. Um, I, I do the same thing in speed. I tell a lot of people that they're terrible at the game, but then I teach them how to play and um, they go to a very good level so my point here is not uh, that uh, oh they're bad and they will never become good but yeah the reality is that they are not very skilled and overall there is a lot of laziness in this world because there's people like me who are making the effort to spend a lot of time here playing and uh, doing their best um, just always active always like spying people always looking for information always always a tra trying to do something really um when a lot of accounts are not doing that i'm, I'm literally sending thanks you see that is well <clears throat> what i would expect out of a competitive world but this world has not been very competitive i would say like, look another completely stacked village here like how worth is it for them to keep these villages here and not have their death at home for ops that they will receive Th things like that um, and how fast will they be able to move these troops? I mean, they have a paladin here, but you know what I mean? There, are, there is a massive lack of organization by these guys. Look, there's a random full death in a in a village here. Let's see the position of the village. It's it's a bit of a yeah, it's a, in a bit of a contested territory, but uh, well, I don't think it needs death there. There are a lot of people from his tribe. Uh, a lot of villages nearby you would just have to like snipe or something if one of these guys were to send him an attack like in my opinion this world is being played at an afk state basically it is not very competitive although it is honestly quite fun for people like me at least because i'm like being able to spy everyone no one is like dodging the troops what, what village is this what how does he have that many troops there like, it's not even a front village like it's it's not a front village it's literally backline but he supported it why does he 
This is what I mean. You see this shit, right? There are no attacks in coming to this village. It has death there. And look, it literally says mini bank here. Like 12 days ago, 13 days ago. And it still is there. There is still a mini bank. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. This really is what I mean. This is a very no skill world. There is no movement of troops. There is no, um, <coughs> well, just switch of strategy. There is no anything. It's not competitive at all. And people like me who are literally just saving every single report as a note, if I look at my map, let's see. I will see a lot of, yeah, the, the eyes are the villages we have notes on, and that's like info. Like we know the villages they're far off. So if I navigate through the map, well, well, we have eyes in pretty much everything. And the villages we don't have eyes on, it's very likely just because they are deaf and they are not attacking with them, obviously. So we we know everything they have. Look, th there are look, there's vision everywhere here. Six six people sharing notes. You see, it's fucking insane. We we literally have their game entirely mapped out, and we are not even using like weird scripts like the Dutch server has to like see the the notes and then take that into consideration in the inks and then rename the inks with like full and fake there are some crazy scripts like that in nl we are not doing any of that here and holy shit that was that was supported them i did not expect them to support that at, well this time anyway free village um <laughs> like these fakes literally instantly tell me that this is a deaf village instantly and this script is honestly very useful. Um, this script just click at and um, saves a note. So that is really good. I, I really am not using anything complex in this. I'm using balancer. Like, well, balancer, you, you know, balancer. Um, I was using some farm scripts, but everything legal, everything fairly simple. I'm not using anything overly complex like uh, timers and shit like that because it's not needed it, it really is not needed what is needed is a lot of activity and wanting to play the game which i don't think many of these people have because um, it's kind of been a, a sleepy game even in the tribes that i'm playing with now in pizza like i really do feel like they could do more a lot of the times but they are like not fully dedicated to this it's weird for me to imagine a world where people are not fully dedicated to playing it i mean i obviously am not i'm kind of in holidays now but i still have like exams to do things to, to, to study for but uh, i'm like genuinely trying my best and always like finding for gaps in villages and finding for things to do and the reality is if the settings were a bit better like if the coins were half the price if the speed of the world was a bit higher i'm sure i would be more ahead um because then i would be able to have more impact um and be able to well make faster operations basically but still i really enjoy the state of the world and i don't think i'm playing bad at all i could be doing a lot of things better for sure but i've learned so many things um with people that have been in my account and that will eventually all left but i've learned so many things um well my groups now look like it's a fucking world account, right? Because initially we didn't do any of this, um, but the reality is that this is all very useful. I can just see like what my stacked villages are. And then I look at the map and I see, okay, this is frontline. Okay, this is frontline, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I just see, okay, well, I need all of these banks. So yeah, um, it, it, it's, it's really cool to see everything be well organized and um, I, I can say I learned a lot from worlds and well so much that and I, and I can literally show you um, this is the section of ideas and improvements of the .NET forum um, wait well that does not show my things but if I put here this activity yeah these this like crossed out topics are topics that have still not been um, made visible or like approved to vote by the community manager 
and they eventually will and it's just things on how to improve worlds because i'm i'm playing a world i i'm, I'm seeing what um, what is necessary so that's that's honestly pretty funny um and um and yeah i think that is it i i i really like the idea of playing worlds i really like it but i don't think worlds are being played to the best of their ability i genuinely do think that worlds should not be the primary game mode i think that the game um, is in a very interesting position because nowadays people of my age like younger people in general they would not be willing to be sitting here in front of a tribal wars account 24 hours a day and just just playing the game and like looking for things to do it's just a lot to do in well all throughout the day but it would be very easy for us to just play a speed like play something for three hours straight that's something we do often so it's very hard for me to understand why speeds are not the main game mode of the game well i do understand obviously because they don't generate revenue and worlds do but we don't see competitive worlds because of that because the people playing worlds are most of them just random guys um with obviously a real life but playing like alone in their account at least that's like the average player and um and just connecting sometimes and well if they are not connected they lose villages and that makes it not to be competitive and as you have already understood i am extremely competitive and um it's it's not something that i think exists a world where everyone is like genuinely trying and genuinely um doing their best i don't know i i, I think that is extremely hard um and well when it comes from me definitely is hard because well I, I do not have the time for this it just takes way too much effort and i do not think i will put that much effort into a world again um because there is no time there is literally no time for me to play a world again <clears throat> well i would require myself to only join an account with people that i know will be reliable throughout the entire throughout the entirety of the world the entirety and not just like the first month or something and then they just disappear because we had so many people in our account and like genuinely nice people people that i've played speeds with over the years and people that I, i've known and I, I, I don't expect any of them to be like inconsistent or, or just get bored but none of them literally none of them stayed until the end like me literally none of them and many of them have like great excuses like they have like work they have things to do but i'm sure that if we had um, been more organized and done things better we would all still be playing and we would all still be well just just active in the account and coming up with different ideas and things to do but uh, the reality was not actually that the reality was that we were all playing a different game basically whenever we logged into the account i would do something and then someone else would do something and then someone else would come and they would not even read what i would type um <coughs> as as plans they would just do their own thing it was a mess it was a complete mess so it just is very hard for me to even ever want to play another world again especially with well first of all tribe mates that are not consistent because here to be honest i've had a reasonable good um <coughs> quality in terms of tribe mates but i would like them to be more reactive i would like them to um well i sent them um a fucking spy report of a village that doesn't have many troops and they instantly like look to make a train there and like attack them that doesn't really exist there's a lot of bureaucracies in these tribes like everything is like an op everything is coordinated everything is etc etc i <coughs> like to play way more spontaneously if there are gaps for that of course i think ops are very important to make the opponents move troops but well if they are asleep and there is a village close to front with not many troops well, we can give it a try um well and that's also kind of why i have like no off troops like ever i'm always just wasting them and uh, that's why i also lose a lot of <coughs> resources compared to to other people but i think 
my playstyle is not bad because I just keep the world active. I keep something always happening. And well, currently the world is in like a, a freezing state. I mean, not really. I'm getting attacked, but there's like nothing happening across the the big front here in the north and like here. It's only like my attack, my front. I mean, they are they are like swapping some villages here. There are there are things going on, yeah, but but not that many. Um, uh, yeah. And I would like it to be more uh, spontaneous. People are, would, would just be very active and generally try their best. I mean, if I go to my friends list, yeah, a lot of people are inactive because it is just extremely hard to to have co-players. And this account, for example, it's mostly like a support account as well. It's very hard to have reliable people to have accounts like mine because it requires so much time and so much effort and so much everything and then you put co-players into my account and they give up because there's a lot of things to do and then you try putting another co-player and then he just like is in the account for a little bit because he wants to see his account be like in first place but then he just disappears it is a mess it is really hard and when i play well i don't even care about being top one like i'm, I'm completely happy with my performance now and i'm not top one but i definitely care about being competitive enough and playing at a good enough level to to be able to well make a mark on the world and i feel like i definitely did even if i was just playing in my this account alone i mean i, I wouldn't have started the world if i wasn't playing it alone obviously and there the game requires the account to be more 24 7 than it does now because there's farming and there's um well mostly just farming to be honest <laughs> but um but yeah, I would not have started if I was alone. But I'm glad we did start, and I really do think it was a nice experience. And um, yeah, I, I have been enjoying it. I I really do think this is fun. And if I'm invited to like a big project to like play a world with like all legal scripts, of course I'm not gonna cheat. I don't. I still don't see a point in cheating. Um, but if I'm invited to something like that with like a lot of good co-players. Uh, a tribe that will be receptive uh, to my well ideas and just intakes on, on, on strategy I will honestly play to be honest I, I really do think that that I have talked way too much shit about worlds in the past of course I, I still do because they just take so much um, effort they, they, they just take so much energy and require so much time um, put into the game but um, I don't know I, the, the idea of worlds is, is honestly fun because well I mean that's that's what that's what kept the game alive until today I, I, I don't need to say why the idea of worlds is fun compared to speed but speed is also very fun too and it's just more fast paced and well as you have heard until now it's more of my style because I like to play spontaneously and just do my own thing um, and yeah, I <laughs> I think I will um, finish it by, by saying that I am not close to the idea of playing a world, but um, it's hard. It's genuinely hard because my play style, I don't know, it is not fit for worlds at their current state. Because if I go to like, I don't know, let's say... .pt for example, and of course worlds in general are pay to win and there's like premium points put into the market and there's like market bot scripts and shit like that. This is a classic, it doesn't have that. But but for example, this classic here on PT, it started like one month after this classic started. It's not competitive at all, it's over. It's, it's literally over. Like, it's sad. There are a lot of barbs still. Like, there is an insane amount of barbs. I wonder the, the what the farm number is. Yeah, that's fucking insane. But these guys are probably all like farm botting and shit like that. And I also don't like that. I, I would much rather just... What is this? <laughs> that is fucking insane. This was one month ago, by the way. It's not even a recent record. Damn. Damn. But um, yeah, I would much rather have a classic like this one where it's more of a... A chess game, really. We're, we're like moving our pieces and like making our plays, rather than just like a, a complete sprint. I do believe that words like this one, where I can sprint a little bit and get a bit of an advantage based on that, they are good. 
they are they are pretty good. But um, I mean, I also wouldn't mind if this was like no hold or something. I guess because well, currently the world is pretty no hold. <laughs> There's nothing happening. Um, but yeah, that is probably a lot more that I could say if I was asked. Um, so yeah, well, if you have any questions about my experience in this world, or if you just want to share your own experience in some world um, with me in the comments, I will always read everything as usual, and I will uh, I will answer you. So yeah, that is that ends it for me. That's that's um, that's it. That's it. Now I will uh, make some notes because I spied everything from this uh, fucking guy. And uh, yeah, notes are very useful. Make notes, make notes, guys. Notes are notes are insane. But yeah, well, I I will see you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, well, let me know. I genuinely enjoy making these like sort of story type videos. And well, I don't know if this will come out before or after the my history and speed video because that one will be big um yeah I, I i really do enjoy this and i hope you enjoyed sticking around too so yeah that is it i will see you on the next one bye bye guys